I've been barely two days in Zurich and today we're gonna leave again. I can't tell you where yet because he doesn't know. It's gonna be his bachelor's party. Yeah. <laughs> Is he excited? Yes, I am. Yes. I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't be able to sleep the next two nights. Quick break in Austria after leaving Switzerland to get some cheap fuel and then we're going to move on to Germany. And who knows where it's going to go from there. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. <laughs> Since we left so late, we stayed the night in Munich before heading further east. Alright, I'm looking a little bit worse for the wear, but that's alright. We are leaving Munich now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're having fun already. There's the other car with our bachelor inside. Yeah, I can tell you now because he's in the other car, but you already figured it out because some people just can't keep a secret. We're going to Prague. Quick McDonald's break for lunch. And now we're trying to get back on the on the Autobahn. We have arrived in our five-star hotel in Prague. Eight people in one room, that's gonna be it interesting. It has the most beautiful view ever. Oh yeah, let's check, let's wow. check out check, the view. Check the view, it's awesome. Oh my god. So beautiful. The most beautiful view. Nostalgic. It's art. Awesome wow. kitchen. It's okay. And well, yeah, that's surprisingly decent. We're all here now. All in one room. Ready to go. <laughs> I hope. The Child's Bridge is arguably one of the most famous structures in Prague. According to my sources, <coughs> Prague is actually the fifth most visited city in Europe. Well, on a boat, bitch. <laughs> This is where Vin Diesel was at the end of Triple X1 dying. Check it out. Triple X was such a good movie. <laughs> and he saved the world again. Naturally, you can't have a bachelor's party in Prague without visiting the Sex Machine Museum. Oh! The 
1869, the invention of the steam engine led to improvements in some areas. Leaving now for the night. I'm already beat. Since we all were a little exhausted already, the whole night was actually pretty tame, which made the next morning a lot easier to bear. <laughs> Breakfast time. <laughs> Since we had to cover 700 kilometers that day, we took another break in Munich for a couple of hours. To the delight of the fiancé waiting back in Zurich, we still made it back in time and safely. So huge shout out to the gang for putting up with all my filming during that weekend. And thank you guys for watching. <laughs>